myself about using the general bathrooms. It's like a four. I'm not very comfortable using the bathroom at school. It's sort of something I try to avoid if possible. Being non-binary in a public school means that you have to explain things to teachers and people who you probably shouldn't have to explain things to. I wish the students knew how much harder they sometimes seem to make things for me. I feel like a lot of trans students. My freshman year, I had almost no teachers use my pronouns. Um, almost none of my peers use my pronouns. And I felt very ostracized. I think in schools, there is some attempt to teach and talk to cis students about what it is to be trans. I think it goes skin deep. I think a lot of the focus on the trans experience is names and pronouns. Unless cis students are actively seeking out information, they're just not at all aware of trans issues, especially like in terms of locker rooms and bathrooms. They just don't comprehend that there might be an issue. I feel like there definitely aren't enough all gender bathrooms on campus. We don't really have them. We have staff bathrooms that were turned into all gender bathrooms and there are like three of those that are single stall. So it's not ideal. Every single day I have to choose between using the men's and women's restroom. I try to use the gender neutral restroom like that is my most preferred but it's either locked and I have to ask a random teacher to like unlock it or it's too far away from where my classroom is. It's shitty that I have to choose. It's super dysphoria inducing and it makes me feel like an imposter, whichever one I choose. I will do almost anything to try and avoid a gendered bathroom. I have held my pee for about 12 hours on a road trip to try and avoid it. There was an experience my friend had where she went into a women's restroom and uh, she was in heels and while she was trying to pee, someone grabbed the heel out from under her, under the stall. Safety comes sort of in two parts. There's like being comfortable in whichever restroom you end up in. And then there's also like just general like harassment. Hi, my name is Britt Biebrick. My pronouns are they, them, theirs. I am Portland Public Schools Program Manager for LGBTQIA2S plus supports uh, for students and staff. General stigma and myths around trans people in public restrooms, I believe boils down to this idea that there's danger. Uh, and when we see it in the news, we often see it from the perspective of parents who are concerned that their daughters are gonna be raped by a person pretending to be a woman. Uh, and the numbers don't bear that out. It's just that simple. Uh, that's not what happens in bathrooms. Uh, if somebody's going to attack someone in a bathroom, they're gonna just do that. What's actually the case here is that if you are a trans person using the bathroom, you are more likely going to experience harm, violence in the bathroom out in public. So this idea that their, their daughters are going to be harmed in bathrooms, sure, if you have a trans daughter, that's probably true. That's, that's probably very true. A public bathroom that really worked for me was Grant. We only and exclusively have gender neutral bathrooms. You just go to the bathroom, pick a stall, and then you go wash your hands in public sinks. Not only do you get your own privacy, but it's also not gendered at all, so you don't feel like you're going in somewhere because of your gender. Like you're just going in to use the bathroom and that's how it should be. When we were at Marshall campus before going to Grant and they kind of made the big announcement that they were gonna do gender neutral restrooms, I remember someone coming up to me and saying, um, if anyone gets sexually assaulted in these bathrooms, just know that you're the reason why and it's your fault. And that's something that did carry with me for the first like semester of school that made me very anxious about using the restrooms. Um, in honesty, our school is heinously overcrowded, um, so you're waiting extremely long times to use the restroom. And I personally have problems because they intentionally lock the disabled restrooms and don't let me use them, and that's kind of a whole slightly different thing. At the beginning of the year, uh, Grant administration 
had locked the gender neutral locker rooms and I had to ask my PE teacher twice every PE class, once before and once after, to unlock the doors to let me change. That's really, really embarrassing. It's not only that, but it violates Title IX. The only option for us trans students to change for PE is in bathroom stalls with no private mirrors or sinks or showers if we wanted to shower. Those are all privileges that cis students get in their locker room. Let's just call it what it is. Changing in front of other people can be really uncomfortable for everyone, adults and young folks alike, but especially for young folks. And so when we start with that practice in middle school, it's probably the first time that most people have been in a group changing situation outside of their family. And then it gets, you know, either better or more uncomfortable as you get older. There are lots of reasons why students may not feel comfortable there. Um, and our, the idea is that, again, if we center in on trans students in particular, whatever solutions we come up with for trans students will then benefit all the other students who also feel uncomfortable. Even the tiniest things can make a big impact on someone's life. I know that people think that, oh, respecting pronouns, I mean, if I like misgender, that's like whatever, I'm sorry, and I'll move on. But like that kind of thing makes such a huge impact. Respecting people's pronouns and identities, like even if you don't understand it, that kind of respect like saves people's lives. I wish cis students were more open to the idea that trans people could have a different experience from them. I wish there was more just sort of like willingness to just do what people are comfortable with you know even if you don't quite understand the reasons why and I think that they should right I think that's 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 a positive thing but I think that the first step towards that is just to, to respect people's identities. I wish cis students knew that trans people are here and we're not going to go anywhere and I wish that they knew that we're just trying to live our life happily and we're trying to be comfortable in these spaces that weren't built for us. What can teachers do to support trans students? They can start by uh, reading things, watching films, um, taking trainings, those kinds of things long before they ever attempt to be an ally. Uh, you got to do some internal work before you want to show up as, as a resource to someone. So you have to know what they're up against and not come in with what you think they're up against. Whenever we are in community with each other, there's always the chance to do harm, full stop, all of us. If you don't show up having done some work, then the chances that you're going to do some harm are going to skyrocket. Uh, we want to avoid that, and so teachers really should be engaging in their own self-learning and their journey, probably unlearning a lot of things about gender identity, and then they can start by just changing the way they do things, right? So it's simple things like having pronouns visibly uh, on your clothing, having it in your email signature, having gender identity cards. There's this little like hat fourth of a sheet that asks you like, hey, uh, what's your name? What are your pronouns? When, where is it okay for me to use this name and these pronouns? Where is it not okay for me to do that? And just like having those out and having a system where students can fill that out as often as they need to, uh, so it's low barrier. And then having that just part of your routine. But that is starting the practice of normalizing this open conversation about gender identity. And the more we do that, the more we will see schools becoming an environment where trans students feel affirmed and safe.